Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Today I want to introduce you guys to mock.shop from the good old people of Shopify. Okay. Now, what's really cool about mock.shop and why you should care about it is that it helps you generate queries for the storefront API. Okay. So let's say you are building a store for a company or for a client, right? but you're not that good with GraphQL, or maybe you're still new to the Shopify ecosystem and you might not know your way around everything as far as like the API goes, but you want to be productive today. Guess what? Shopify has a tool that helps you with that process. Okay. And I want to go and introduce you guys to it just because I think it's very important for us to see AI tools like this because a lot of times people have this fear of AI is going to replace us and the robots is just gonna take us off. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's not true, man. AI, most of those things are just tools that we're gonna be able to use and just gonna help us feel like we got extra superhuman powers where even if we're not as good as a developer or maybe as knowledgeable as a developer, who has 10 plus years, we can now hit the ground running. And if we have an idea, we can use AI to help us build that. Okay. So it doesn't matter if you're coming from a different platform. Let's say you do WooCommerce or you do, I don't know, big commerce or Wix or whatever you do, right. And you're trying to jump into Shopify, mock that shop can help you out in this process. So let's take a look at the, the website itself, right? So it's mock that shop, just like that, right? Um, and basically what this is, is a way for you to be able to get queries from the storefront API or to be able to communicate with Shopify, right? So Shopify uses GraphQL, right? And it has to be in a certain format for you to be able to get the data out of Shopify. So I'll give you a great example. Uh, they have this website called uh, demostore.mock.shop, right? So let's say you're building this store for a client or a company, right? And they decide, hey, we wanna go with Hydrogen or hey, we wanna go with Next.js, right? But we still wanna get the power and the reliability that Shopify brings to the table but we still want to control our website, right? We want to have our own website. So the best way to do this is to communicate with Shopify through the API. So let's say, for example, I wanted to go in and get some data from here, right? I could come here to the mock that shop website. I could see some examples on the left of things that you can actually search for. So for example, how to get a product, right? You have this query and then that query is going to return back this response from Shopify, and then you can actually see a preview of it. Again, you have get a product with the first three variants, get 20 products, uh, get a collection, get a collection with 20 products, get 10 collections, um, how to create a cart, right? How to actually go in and add that to the cart system on Shopify's end, right? So again, it's showing you how to get the data, right? And how to actually uh, send that data to Shopify or what we would call like a mutation, uh, to the cart system. Right now, what's really cool is this section here where you can generate a query using AI. So for example, if I want to search for, I don't know, get the three most recently created products, and I don't know how to actually query that, guess what? I could come in here, submit it, and it will tell me exactly what's the query that I need to send to Shopify to be able to get that data back from them. Okay. So as you can see here, we have all of the different uh, products, right? So get the three most recent products. I could also go in here and say uh, something like this, get three products um, under, let's say $1,000. Okay. Click submit. Okay. And there we go. It actually goes in and gives me the results for it. So again, we have the first three, a uh, query of the variance price under uh, $1,000, right? And it shows me, okay, we got the slides, we got the sweatpants, we got men's t-shirts, right? Maybe we could say, show me the first 20 products under a thousand. Okay. 
and there you go it actually shows me all of the different products and again it's not just for the products you can also check collections you can also check for meta fields you can check for articles inside of a blog so i give you like this example let's say get the three most recently updated articles so I'll click submit and then from there it actually shows us these are the top articles inside um, that match that description um, again you can also come in here and play around with this so like you see how you have articles right you got edges node then you have title blog right so that's like the information that you're getting here that's why you get in the blog id the the news right let's say for example you wanted to get some other uh column within this right so let's say uh, maybe you got uh the content html that's something that you might need for your page so in there you could actually see the whole actual content so yeah so it's actually pretty useful uh this tool and another thing that i love is just the you know the autocomplete right because sometimes you might not be able to remember all of this fields that's in here and even if you are a beginner and you're just getting your feet wet with shopify right you want to be able to be productive right away but again you might not know all of this so having this tool it will save you a lot of time so again this is why I tell you guys, stop being scared of AI. AI is just a tool, guys, okay? And again, shout out to Shopify for creating this because trust me, it saves me a lot of time. I'll be honest, I don't like GraphQL. <laughs> I'm not a big fan. I'm a REST API type of guy. You get what I'm saying? I like things simple, right? I don't like the edges, the nodes, etc. But guess what? Um, at the end of the day, I use this tool here. Uh, to save me time and i'm pretty sure for all of you guys that are jumping into shopify you're gonna save a lot of time with it too okay so again it's good for experienced developers and for beginner developers like it's a great tool go check it out now guys i also want to let you guys know man if you haven't checked out coding phase you need to come check it out man right now we got that 40 percent off running so if you want to take advantage this is summer sale we started with a july 4 sale people kept telling me yo joe extend it extend it extend it can you put it in until the end of the month uh this this and that hey i get paid in two weeks can you extend it i said you know what let's make it simple we're gonna run it all throughout july but guess what july is about to be done okay we are july 30th right we got what like a couple of hours left basically so if you guys want to come in and you want to sign up to codyface.com get that 40 percent off literally you can start the diamond membership with 60 dollars right after you add the 40 percent off right same thing for the gold membership you can start with 12 dollars um definitely come in i recommend starting with the diamond membership because it gives you access to everything on the website accountability meetings right every monday we do accountability meetings on codingphrase.com we check your portfolio we review it if you have questions while you are applying to jobs um if you're having any concerns uh while you're taking the courses hey you come in you have someone to speak to every single monday from 7 p.m till 9 p.m sometimes we stay till 10 p.m okay so it's two to three hours that you have access to me i'll go in answer your questions look over your projects you get to see how other people are doing in interviews how their projects and the portfolios is looking like so you could also benefit from that um it's a great community guys definitely codingphase.com is the place to be at okay again shout out to karen karen holds the html css workshop she helps you out if you are a complete beginner right we don't want you to quit so we make sure that there's somebody there that if you don't know how to align something if you don't know how uh, how to build something on a page like karen can go in and help you out and and teach you that that process right in person on wednesday so you have two days where you have two people me and karen right every single um week you know two days out of the week you have access to us and all of this is part of the diamond membership it's a really good deal for everything that we have to offer over 90 plus courses for all of you guys uh, that's looking to get into a career 
you got content editor html email developer front-end developer php developer react developer shopify theme developer right and we're working on the xr developer um career path right but this is something that you guys is also going to have access to by next year when you guys come in and everybody's talking about xr development xr developer is like here yeah, it's all coding phase already you get what I'm saying? Like we make sure that we look to the future and we make sure that whatever's happening in the industry, we add it to it. So as a diamond member, you pay that six month subscription or that monthly subscription or that yearly subscription, and you get access to everything. So you don't have to go in and pay for a new course. Every single time something comes out or a new update comes out, you get access to everything automatically. Okay, so definitely come check it out, guys. I'm gonna see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Go check out that mock.shop website. Trust me, it's gonna be very useful for most of you guys. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Peace.